Alright you guys, how many of you would you like to see more RTX 3070 graphics cards being released in the upcoming couple of months? Well, if you happen to ask Nvidia, then the answer sure seems to be something like, yes. And why would I give such a dumb answer like that? Well, that's most probably because in January, Nvidia is allegedly going to release the RTX 3050, 3060, and this comes in two variants, the RTX 3070 Ti and the RTX 3080 Ti. We're going to be talking about all of those cards in this video, but before we do that, make sure you're, you're subscribed if you'd like to see more content relating to tech and gaming. I happen to post a lot of videos um, on these two topics on my channel, so if you'd like to keep yourself up to date with those things, then definitely get subscribed. Now talking about these graphics cards that are coming out, we've seen information coming from Komachi who has spotted the Nvidia AB partner Manly filing documents for these cards with the EEC, this being of course the Eurasian Economic Commission, and I've already done videos on those graphics cards as some of you might already know and you can already go and watch them if you're interested, but if you haven't done that already and you're too bored to do it, I, I can understand it. Do make sure you watch this video till the end so you get a good idea about those uh, graphics cards. Now talking about the RTX 3050, this one should be based on the GA107 chip, which is different even than what we've seen on the RTX 3060 whilst rocking a puny 4GB of GDDR6 VRAM on a 128-bit bus, with its main salvation being its um, 2,304 CUDA cores and of course its price. Now we don't have any idea on what pricing might look like for this particular graphics card, it's not even for the uh, Founders Edition card, but uh, looking at the prices so far for the other graphics cards that Nvidia has released, so the RTX 3070, 3080, 3090 and the 3060 Ti most recently, I would expect this card to go from anywhere between $249 to $300. Um, of course, US dollars in this case, or euros in, in if you're from Europe, but of course all of those things can change and this is just pure speculation out of my part in this case. Now looking at the RTX 3060, I told you that this graphics card is going to come into two variants, these being the uh, 6 gig and the 12 gig variant. Now for this one, if you remember, the GTX uh, 1060 also came in two different variants. We've seen that with uh, 3 gigabytes and with 6 gigabytes, and I think in some parts of the world they also sold it with 5 gigabytes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was in China. Either way, that's besides the point right now. Uh, what's good about this graphics card um, is that you're going to get a lot more VRAM depending on the case. It's still not a lot for gaming if you are to ask some uh, people and perhaps we're going to get into that in this video otherwise you're going to find out more about that in the info cards above or if you go in the video description. So we've seen uh, the amount of CUDA cores for the cards uh, as well and with regards to pricing I would expect it to be anywhere between 279 to 349 US dollars or euros respectively and of course the, um, the card with lower VRAM is going to be cheaper in this case but it's also going to be a lot worse if you want to play at higher resolutions this of course being 1440p but assuming that most of you are going to play at 1080p I think you're going to be fine unless games in the future are going to require way more VRAM and there is a whole discussion about that. Now talking about the RTX 3070 Ti, now do keep in mind that I have an RTX 3070 in my system which you have seen the box already of. Uh, this card should technically solve the VRAM issue that again a lot of people have been um, fearing all this time that it will impact their performance in a couple of years and I would also suspect this card would also be priced anywhere between 549 and 649 uh, US dollars just to slot in perfectly between the RTX 3070 which is 499 and the RTX 3080 in this case that is 699 MSRP of course those cards are not selling for this price right now they're barely ever in stock but of course it's sure good to see all those things um, maybe someone in the future is going to come back to this video although I would be surprised if they were to do that now moving on the ladder uh, we have the 3080 Ti and this one should go head-to-head -head against the RX 6900 XT which it just got released today at least on paper because I wasn't able to find any of those cards in Germany and of course this card is going to go head-to-head -head against or even be even better I should say perhaps the than the RX 6900 XT you're going to find reviews on uh, this graphics card if you go to one of my previous videos I linked a lot of them 
in the description as well, or you just go and watch the big tech YouTubers talking about it. Now, of course, uh, Nvidia couldn't do itself justice and release this card at 9.99, but I kind of doubt it, given that that's the price for the RTX 3090, and this one would be in between the 3080 and the 3090, so perhaps we're going to see even lower prices for that while still bringing really good performance against the RX 6900 XT from AMD. Of course, there are going to be different titles where the RX 6900 XT is going to perform better than any of, uh, including the RTX 3090, than any of the graphics cards, that's what I was going to say. So, of course, your mileage may vary, it really depends on the games that you're playing, and of course, in the, in the next couple of years, three, four, five, whatever you want to think about it, um, how well developers are going to optimize their games for either Nvidia or AMD, because this has happened, you can see this already in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, of course, this is all speculation on my part, but all of the leaks that are coming out, I'm going to be covering them on my channel, so be sure that you're going to find all this information right here. So like I was saying, if you're interested in tech and gaming, and of course uh, leaks with regards to um, AMD and Nvidia graphics cards and Intel processors and all those stuff, you're going to find all of this great information on my channel and you're going to find in the video description all of the sources that um, I am including in those videos. So. I don't know what else to tell you. If you enjoyed the content that I'm doing around here, then do make sure to get subscribed to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And of course, if you would go to watch all of my other videos that I've done around here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I gotta go and do some other things. So um, this has been Alex for The Red Elk. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.